hydrogen is nature's fuel. It can be made where you want, when you want. Imagine living in a world without concerns about energy security or pollution, where you can get all the energy you need from domestic sources. Automakers have been working very hard to develop the technology for automobiles as a way of simultaneously reducing the use of oil, uh, reducing air pollution, and also reducing the release of greenhouse gases. It becomes a matter of greatly reducing the cost of producing the hydrogen as well, the fuel cells, and also the end uses. And we uh, then reach more and more applications and we see it accelerating. And as that happens, you get the benefit of more public buy-in. The more they're familiar with technology, the more they want it and the more they're interested. And we firmly believe that the ultimate energy source in this world is going to be hydrogen. To get hydrogen from water, we can use electricity to break the chemical bonds between oxygen and hydrogen. This process is called electrolysis. Hydrogen today is something we look to for the future. If you want to talk about renewables, you've got to find a way in which to store the energy because electrical energy has to be used at the time it's produced. And with renewables, you don't have that opportunity because when the wind is blowing, you may not have the load. And so if you're producing it, how do we store it? The hydrogen concept is one of those opportunities. Hydrogen generation can happen through a, a number of different routes. The easiest route would have us making electricity and then using that electricity to run an electrolyzer, which would split water uh, electrochemically. Solar typically only works when the sun is up. Wind only works when the wind is blowing. When the sun goes down, then you have to make up all that solar power with other sources. Or if the, the wind is blowing and suddenly it stops, it causes instabilities. I need that power whenever there's a demand. The ability to store power is key to large-scale deployment because it removes that instability. In the same way hydrogen stores the energy from the sun and wind, we can use hydrogen to store the energy in moving water. Other renewable ways of making hydrogen is to capture solar, wind, wave, geothermal power, and electrolyze water to produce hydrogen. One of the beauties of hydrogen will be it will provide a common energy currency throughout the world. In a hydrogen economy, every area of the world will be able to generate this currency with the resources available to it.